Hello Sussex family, welcome back to our channel and today I would like to talk about why Prince Harry taking paternity leave is a big big deal. As we all know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana on June 4th and Prince Harry has announced that he will be out of the office for the next few months following the birth of his second child. The Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan Markle welcomed daughter Lilibet Lily Diana on June 4th. The couple are also parents to two-year-old son Archie. Harry shared the news of his paternity leave through a statement on the Actual Foundation website. Employees at Actual, the non-profit which Harry runs with Meghan, are offered up to 20 weeks of parental leave. So guys, don't forget to hit the link of actual.com and don't forget to to like and subscribe on my channel. So, in this stuff, in the UK, new dads can take up to two weeks of parental leave, but when Archie was born in 2019, Harry, who was still a working member of the royal family, kept up his normal schedule and continued carrying out his official engagements. So, NBC royal commentator Daisy McHenry told today parents that Harry and Meghan are sending a message that they are a team. McCandry said she believes Harry is also using his platform to encourage other men to do the same and take their full parental leave if it is offered. Now that's Harry. He's a real one. By Harry taking parental leave with Meghan, they are showing that child care is a joint responsibility. They are a modern family. Though Harry and Meghan stepped down as working members of the royal family after the intense, intense bullying, I am so, so happy that now, this time in this pregnancy, Megan gets to enjoy living peace at home with his, with her beautiful, beautiful daughter and with a nice and amazing, amazing husband at home. So, and also recently, I'd just like to talk about some really, really bad news and that Prince Harry issued a statement. In all 26 members of the Hallows Trust Afghanistan team were killed or injured on Tuesday night in what was nothing less than an act of Barbarism, Prince Harry said. I honor those who have been lost and encourage support for the survivors and the families of those affected. These workers put their lives on the line every day to make the world a safer place. This brutal act reminds us that we must stand in solidarity with humanitarian aid workers and the communities they serve. We both know that Prince Harry's mom used to be also in Hallow Trust. So Harry is also, also a, a, was also a patron of Hallow Trust. So this is a special trust that you know is deep inside their hearts that is very very special to them. So um, my deepest deepest condolences from the squad to every single person who lost their loved ones in Afghanistan. And so guys, today I just like to leave you about with one thing. You do not have to put up with bigotry, bullying, racism against your family because some people would much rather see you fall we much rather see you miserable than see you thrive. Leave a toxic environment. Go out there. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Have a have a they have they now have a beautiful daughter, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Despite all these bogus stories being created by the British tabloids because they can't get an exclusive photo anymore. Despite all these bogus things being show, showcased by the British tabloids, I'm just so happy and excited that they are in Meghan's home in California. Their new home, Prince Harry and Meghan's new home, and their children's new home in Santa Barbara, California. I'm so happy and I'm so excited for them. I pray that they're always happy, they're in peace, they're joyful, and that they, their family is just so happy and united always and forever. And whatever Harry and Meghan do, they always do together as a team to more success, to more thriving, to more happiness. Forget the shenanigans about, about them bickering over a baby name back in the UK. They, they don't have a picture of the baby, so they've lost their minds up there in the UK. Royal babies are, are almost uh, ba basically a way to cash in for the British tabloids. And they are so salty and so bitter that an eighth in line to the throne now lives in the United States of America. You've seen the anti-Americanism that they've portrayed, that they've portrayed. You've seen the anti-Americanism. And today I'm happy because an eighth in line to the throne is that can either be the Queen of England or 
can, can also be the president of the United States of America by virtue of being born in the United States of America. I'm so happy and I'm so excited for them. May they be blessed always and forever. And guys, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button till our next podcast. Join our ever-growing Sussex family right here on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to click and subscribe. I love you guys. See you later.